gorgeous people in the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today, we've got a double unboxing for ya. I've got a double unboxing from Longchamp. Yes, I've got a double Longchamp unboxing. I'm very excited about this. I say that about a lot of my unboxings. In fact, I say about all of my unboxings because I do get very excited about things. Very, very excited indeed. Now, not only do I think these are absolutely fabulous, but I got a cheeky little freebie thrown in as well. Mm, lovely. And this also means that I end up twinning, not twinning, tripleting with a couple of fabulous, fun, fellow YouTuber friends. So let's get into the first thing I saw when the lion and I went into London. And we, we went to Bond Street because I wanted to see if I could find something that I was late to the party on, I'd seen. I had been influenced to try it. It should have probably shown up in my influenced video, but um, I hadn't shared it with you yet. So at that stage, you had no idea. Um, I went looking for it, couldn't find it, then just asked off, the, off chance, do you happen to have? And then we got sent somewhere else. But that is not what's in this bag. This is the first little thingy and I saw this, saw the collection, really enjoyed the collection. Oh wow, there's no, there's no cutting that tape. Let's try peeling it instead, yes. So I bought this um, because I loved the collection but I didn't need anything from the collection but I saw this and it really spoke to me. So it comes in this little box, this little Longchamp box. Okay, and then we've got like a little care cardy thing made of leather and metal. And no, it doesn't look, there's no dust bag in here, but that's okay because it is, it is a little bag charm. This is from the toilet paper collection. I know, I thought the same thing when I heard it. There was so much that I really, really liked in that collection. They had the Le Pliage bags. They had an extra small Le Pliage bag with this. I think it was this design on it. This is the Love design. I'm so sorry, the lion is drilling in the garage now. This... This is a love knuckle duster design on a pink leather background and I just really, really like it. The bag I was using on... The bag I was using on the day is my Louis Vuitton pink papillon trunk and I tried it on this and um, although we've got silver metal hardware on this and gold hardware on the Papillon trunk. I tried it on there and I thought it was fabulous. So I picked this up, this was in the sale and I will give you a price Ooh. and I will give you a price for it. Oh, which one is it? Not that one. Okay, not that. Where is my receipt for this one? Okay, and the price for this was, in the sale, it was £68, um, discount from £85, so I saw it on the shelf and I thought, I just, I just love it, love, I just love it, I thought it was great, so I'm not adverse to a bag charm, apparently the trend is coming back in, but um you know who wants to follow trends eh so i picked this up really really happy about it nice little bargain thought that was a huge amount of fun um to add to any um any of my bags and i like that kind of knuckle duster love instruction i'm taking it as an instruction but if you are new to my channel then hi i'm gwenny and i love luxury in all of its glorious forms and if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms get down there hit subscribe ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my luxury based shenanigans show the videos you enjoy the not working today matte lipstick you see thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on instagram 
while we were on Bond Street, I thought, well, I'm going to ask about this other thing that I missed out on, went out of stock, came late to the party. I'm, I don't really jump on things when I first see them. I tend to take a step back, I consider it, I think about it, and then it's gone and I've missed my opportunity. So I asked about this and they said, oh, no, it's out of stock. But then they said there is a pop up in Harrods. And they have one in Harrods. We weren't going to be going to Harrods that day because we'd been to Selfridges. We ended up on Bond Street. We were supposed to be going to Luxury Promise, not Luxury Promise, one of the um, pre-loved around the corner from Selfridges. That was the plan. We had to book in advance and we didn't do that. So we didn't go in there. Um, so we ended up jumping in a cab, going over to Harrods and heading towards this pop-up. Back in the cab on Bond Street. Might pick something up from Northam, and then we're heading off to Harrods now. Look at this guy, it's a plane, it's a plane. We weren't going to do that. We did ask if it is in stock, if they check and they say it's in stock, can I phone, order it, and have it shipped out? They said, We don't know. We'll find out if it's in stock first. And then there was a bit of umming and ahhing and the lion said, do you know what, let's not just, let's just not leave it to chance. Let's just get over there. So we jumped in a cab. We're back in Harrods. Well, did, we, what, did we ever leave? Did we ever leave? I don't think oh, we ever left. I don't think we should ever leave. Okay, right, we're uh, back in Harrods. I didn't think it would happen again so soon, but we're here. But we are not necessarily looking at Fendi in here, or Prada, even though I'd like to. We are going over to the Longchamp pop-up. Hurrah! We got there and we said, hello. Um, oh, I've been looking for this bag. Do you have it? It is a bag. I've been looking for this bag. Do you have it? And they said yes. And they liked us. So they gave us a little freebie as well. So we'll get into the freebie and then I'll show you the bag. I'm such a tease. It's awful really, isn't it? But there you go what we do for the YouTubes and in here in this lovely little pouch which I've just just opened I've got a couple a couple of little sort of badges a couple of little pins they're very very cute you've got the Longchamp rider here the racehorse rider and then this one's got a, a little windmill on it in yellow and pink these are enamel and very very cute um, I don't know if they're meant to signify anything in particular. Obviously, this is the Longchamp logo. I don't know what the windmill's meant to signify. If I do find anything out, I will uh, let you know. But other than that, they're just cute little pins that I might add to my denim jacket. Right, enough with the teasing. This big bag contains the star of the show. And within this big bag is this big dust bag. Ooh, ooh, you can probably see what's through the... Uh, through the dust bag so let's open it there's a lot of tissue paper in here as well I got my hands on after being influenced and I wasn't the only one I was influenced by Nick J Snell Dale was influenced by Nick J Snell and now the three of us own the Longchamp Le Pliage this is a travel bag this is the London Tea version. There's a bigger dust bag in it. Okay, here we are. This is a big old bag. This is a big bag. It is a special edition, a limited edition, an exclusive edition. Every edition, okay? This is exclusive and I'm excited. I think it's fun. I think it's whimsical. I just think it's super cute. Then I saw this in this gorgeous, gorgeous emerald green with the black leather, silver hardware, and it comes with a strap, which I'll show you in a minute. Because the big reveal, three, two, one, it's got a cup of tea on the front. So let's get rid of that. So it has a cup of tea in this really pretty like floral cup and saucer combination with London written across it. It's so cute! And finally, there's a big a Longchamp reveal. Uh, thank you so much to Nick Snell. I saw this in London and 
I thought it was cute and I kind of passed on it. A couple of weeks later, Nick unboxed this item on his channel and I said to him I loved it so much. Nick hooked me up with his sales associate. She sent me a payment link. She shipped it to Nick and then Nick shipped it to me and um, here it is. And I think it is so fun, so kitsch. Okay, this is the first time I'm looking at it. Oh, it has been wrapped so beautifully. Here it is. <laughs> it's the London Duffel! Oh my god, isn't it gorgeous? It's fun and cute. And this was limited edition. Um, you could only get this in boutique in London. And I was lucky that they managed to, that they had one left over. And it was, whoops, that's taken a tumble. And I was lucky that they had one left over and it went into the Harrods pop-up. I love it. I love it. It's so kitsch. I love the colour green. It's fantastic green. I love the teacup and saucer. Very, very kitschy. And I love that it's just got London across the front of it. It is fantastic. The leather is black. I shall be using this when we go to, to uh, New York from one big city to another. You've got your popper there, you've got your big zip along the top there with your Longchamp rider on the zip pull. And I just think it is fabulous. I've got Longchamp London on the little slip pocket there. You can see the lining. This is a textured finish rather than the usual kind of smooth um, nylon finish and of course you've got the crossbody or the shoulder strap I don't know if it is quite crossbody maybe if there's not much in the bag um, and it's quite slouchy you'll be able to crossbody it and then there's a little care card um, textile trimmed with cowhide so very very happy that I was fortuitous enough as they say, if you don't ask, you don't get. I asked the question, they said yes, they had one over at Harrods. Wasn't prepared to miss out on it again. Absolutely, absolutely love this. I don't think you could even order this online. I think you had to be in boutique in London to get your hands on one of these. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like on my stature. That is my little Longchamp double unboxing. I am delighted with both pieces. Personally, I think Longchamp is the best travel pieces that you can go for. We have got a Louis Vuitton uh, Keepall 55 in the monogram eclipse. Love it, but man, it is heavy and it's cumbersome. Um, kind of wish we'd bought the 45 but then it might have been a bit too small to carry things in. So, I mean, these are lightweight. They are really, really sturdy. They're, you know, they're, they're just great bags to have for travel. And I'm going to love using this. I've got a few Longchamp travel bags now. So I've got this. I've got the Mr. A um, Andre collaboration from a couple of years ago. And I've also got a raspberry pink um, zip up extender so it's it's this size it's this size but it has a zip around the middle and then if you unzip that it extends by about that much so makes it even bigger so you can go out with some stuff 
you can buy some stuff and then you've got something to carry them back in as well absolutely brilliant pieces love 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 them for trout love them full stop um let me know what you think of my goodies <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below are you a longchamp fan do you love them for travel do you love them for everyday usage let me know in the comment section down below i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please show it the thumbs up love and until i see you yes you boop for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye